Hello, I'm Dr. Nicole Anderson, owner of Anderson Sport and Wellness, and welcome to my mock home office. I'm gonna go through with you guys some ways to prevent pain and stiffness when you have to work from home, or if you're on the road, maybe working from a hotel, something like that. So many people call me with a complaint of numbness, tingling in their hands, their arms, they're waking up at night with this numbness and this tingling. Uh, they're developing neck pain, back pain, and they suspect it has to do with their workstation. Like I said, many of us are working from home and maybe we don't have a big budget to set up a really ergonomic workstation, or maybe you have to make do with working on say a kitchen table. So this table is kind of about the height of a kitchen table. And so I thought I would just go through some key things that you could do using things you have around the house to make it a much more comfortable place to work and less likely to cause pain and stiffness. So you'll need some boxes. You want the screen, the top of the screen to be at your eye level when you're sitting. All right. You're going to use a external keyboard and I'll usually take, if I'm doing this at home myself, I'll take a towel and place it on my lap so the keyboard doesn't slide. You want your elbows to be at this kind of angle right here. You don't want to be at a 90 degree angle. You want a larger angle, okay? That allows for blood flow and nerve flow and doesn't create fascial restrictions as much as if you were at a 90 degree angle, all right? You also want to look at the angles of where your feet are resting and how your knees are positioned. So this position, these 90 degree angles, they're not so good for nerve flow, for blood flow. They create stiffness in our joints. So you can get another box of some sort and position it so that your feet can be more at an angle like this. Your knees can be in a more open angle. Another thing that I like to use because I happen to have it here in the clinic, and you might have one of these at home, a half roller. Half rollers work pretty well. They work really well. They're quite comfortable. So I like to use a half roller. Works well for me. You have to kind of tune into what your body likes the most. All right. You want the screen to be 20 to 40 inches away from your face. You want to be able to easily look at it. You want to be sitting in a fairly comfortable chair. Okay. And this chair is okay, but it's not great. And if you're going to be working from home for a long time, it's probably a good idea to get actually invest in a good ergonomic office chair. But just for the sake of example, let's say you don't have one of those at home and you know, you just get the best chair that you can. So you're going to hang out this way like this working. This is pretty good for the wrists, shoulders, elbows. This position is pretty good for looking. It's pretty good for the knees, ankles. And then we have to talk about the mouse because the mouse creates all kinds of havoc for people. With your mouse, if you have it out in front of you out here, that is going to create problems. Let's say I'm a lefty. If I'm out here, it's going to create shoulder pain. It's going to create neck pain. People call me all the time with one-sided, and they're usually right-handers, uh, and they have this one-sided pain in their arm or just in their upper trap area, and I ask them some questions about their workstation. Turns out they're doing their mouse out here, okay? And that's going to create problems. So bring it in keep it close to your body. Let's pretend I'm a lefty, just for the sake of example, so that you can actually see the setup a little bit easier. All right, so if I'm a lefty and I'm gonna use my mouse, then I wanna have it close enough to my body so that you want your elbow to be basically hanging out right next to your shoulder. You want an open angle here, not here. Okay, you want your wrist to be fairly flat. If your wrist is bent down or up, this is going to 
create compression for your median nerve where your carpal tunnel is, and that can literally just create carpal tunnel syndrome, carpal tunnel symptoms. Many times, if we just get the keyboard into a better place, we get the mouse into a better place, literally just with fixing that, people's symptoms go away and they don't need any more physical therapy. Okay, and that's, that's really what I want. Okay, so I want you guys to be healthy. I want to give you a few tips of things that you can do. There's all kinds of ergonomic mouse options as well that you can consider, touch pads, things like that. But it's all about also where is this mouse? Where is this touch pad? If it's out here, that's not good. If it's out here, that's not good. If it's too high, too low, those are going to create problems. So you want to have it right about in this range. Okay.